Right now, you, me, are taking a closer look at the Rapala, Rapala Crush City Freeloader by Jacob Wheeler. And it's extended look. So we're going to do our normal closer look, and at the end, I'm going to tell you some things that I found out about this bait. Some of my observations and opinions. So stick to the end, but before we do that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. The new Rapala Crush City Custom Freeloader Swimbait was designed by the best angler on the planet, Jacob Wheeler. The freeloader was developed to be the next gen trailer that bass will hold onto longer. It's designed to move back and forth with a subtle side to side action that helps your chatterbait get more action. The tail is light and bouncy, and while it doesn't have great action, it offers a unique tail kicking action that helps your chatterbait or spinnerbait or numerous other bass fishing applications. It's a much more subtle, natural action that will trigger bites, and I kind of feel like it's a little more of a finesse trailer than many others. And you can put it on a jig head and cast it and offer a different shad-like profile bait that most bass are looking for, and they'll suck it up and eat it. It has molded tall flat sides and is ribbed for water displacement and to trap air for that subtle bubble trail. They are using a smart injection technology. So each bait combines custom combinations of color, flake, salt, and scent. It comes in a whopping 17 colors and is four and a quarter inches in length. You will receive seven pieces per pack and retail price is $6.49. For more information or to purchase some on my Tackle Warehouse affiliate, please see the link in the description below. Well, one of my things about trailers, and I believe I'm a pretty good at figuring out trailers. I will be honest right up front. I don't think there's a better trailer on the market than the Smash Tech Blade 8 for a chatterbait or a spinnerbait. It just has an amazing wobbling action and it entices a bite. It's just great. But this isn't as bad as I thought. Now it does have that bubble on the back there and that's kind of like the new technology that allows it to have a little bit more buoyancy with the tail. And as you can see, the tail is so thin that it constantly is moving with any, any and all movement from a blade or through the water. You're gonna get a tight wobbling action with this bait. It's very easy to rig and I enjoy that they put slots on the top and also the bottom so you know exactly where you need to put your hook. I appreciate that quite a bit. But I kind of wish that this bait was made of that Elastec or the soft, really soft plastic so that it would last longer. This is not made from that. This is normal plastic that is not really dense. Because the ribs on it are, are there, it actually is a little bit softer than you might think. But the softness because of the ribs does allow the bait to be feel soft, which is gonna make the bass hold on to it longer. Now, one of the things that I really appreciate about it is it is scented. It has salt infused in it and it has a scent. Now, it isn't one of those baits that you can really smell it on your, when you put it to your nose, you smell a little bit of it, but then you also don't feel it on your hands. It isn't oily and scenty. And as someone who has all sorts of hand phobias, I do really, really love it. But if you're looking for something that's gonna give off a bunch of scent as soon as it hits the water, this probably isn't the one for you. It is scented again, but not crazy scented. Like I mentioned, for me personally, I like a tail that has a wide action, that that adds something to your chatterbait or spinnerbait, adds a little bit more girth or bulkiness while you're fishing it, so that when you give it a good twitch or you're jigging it off the bottom, that tail constantly is moving. Now this is so subtle when it's in the water that the tail just kind of does one of these bits. It's just barely moving, it's tight, but it still has good action. Not great action, but good action. And I think that if you're in a place that is very pressured, that pond or lake that you fish is getting a lot of action from every angler out there. I think this might be a good opportunity or good option to switch to so that your chatterbait or spinnerbait looks just slightly different than everybody else's. It's a really good, not great, but in that eight to nine range out of 10 trailer for your chatterbait or spinnerbait. So what do you think? You tell me, comment below and tell me if you're buying some. Do you buy some just because Jacob Wheeler's name's to it? Do you buy some because one tournament all he used was this 
and he won the tournament. That's that's one of the things that, that comes with Jacob Wheeler. Jacob Wheeler is one of, if not the best, angler on the planet right now. He doesn't throw baits that he's not confident in or that are not helping him catch fish or taking him to the next level. So do these Crush City freeloaders get in your tackle box? Again, comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very soon. Cheers.